back, everyone. I'm joined now by Emily Berger from IVRS. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing really well. Thank you for having us. Of course. Well, hey, glad to have you on this morning. So for people who may not know, tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about IVRS, what y'all's mission is, and really what you can do here, you know, it's right here in Amarillo, what yes. you do for the community. So we are a wellness center, and we try to be kind of a one-stop wellness shop. Uh, we started just as an IV hydration company, and now we've branched out. We have primary care, chiropractics, massage, cryotherapy. We're just constantly, we still have the IV hydration, of course, but we're just constantly researching new therapies and methods to support the wellness of our patients. I think that's a great mission yeah. for sure. And this latest event that y'all have coming up is specifically in the interest of saving lives. Absolutely. Which sounds really great. So you have a bone marrow re registration and blood drive. Can you yes. tell us more about that? Yes. So this drive is in honor of Samantha Andrews. Um, she is 10 years old and she is battling acute myeloid leukemia for the second time. She needs a donor sometime okay. between Thanksgiving and Christmas. And so we are signing people up to be potential matches for Sam, and not just Sam, but 17,000 people in the U.S. need a donor every single year. And so we could potentially help hundreds of people. Uh, it's a super easy process to get signed up to be on the bone marrow donor registry. It's a cheek swab. It's painless. You can be in and out in five minutes. So we also have Coffee Memorial coming. Uh, they have been fantastic. They rearranged some things to bring the blood mobile and be there for us. They are going to be there from three to six, okay. but we're going to be collecting uh, those blood donations too. So right, that definitely sounds like a great event for sure. And like you said, I mean, it takes five minutes. It's a cheek mm -hmm. swab. I mean, really couldn't be an easier, you know, just go stop exactly. by and get it done. So what do people need to know if they want to come by and they want to come get on this registry? When do they need to be there? Where do they need to go? Mm -hmm. And do they need to bring anything with them? So no, they don't need to bring anything. We've got everything they need. We've got the kits. We're going to mail them back. We're going to take care of it. There are some uh, potential health conditions that we'll screen people for, okay. but they can come by at any time. Coffee does want people to have uh, an appointment. Okay. Um, that is on our Facebook page. The link to sign up to donate blood is. Um, and really we'll walk you through the whole process. There's nothing to know, there's nothing to worry about. Um, like we were talking about before, yes. even if you sign up to be a donor, only 1% of people ever get that call. Yes. And if you are in that 1%, you may be the only person in the world who can save that life. So it, it would be an honor, honestly, to get the call. Absolutely. I mean, that's thing. So that's why you really want to get as many people out. Like you mm -hmm. said, I mean, like I said, even if they're not necessarily a match for this particular person, I mean, they could be a match for someone else. So right. even, you know, get as many people as you can to get there because they could be a potential match that could save someone's life. So where can people find IVRS? So IVRS is located at 4514 Cornell. We are just south of the Amarillo Town Club. We are also, we're online, of course, mm -hmm. IVRSTX.com. And we would love to have them just come by and there's sweet little Sam. Yeah, we want to save that little angel. Absolutely. I mean, that's a could not agree more for sure. So you got to come out there. So it's 1 to 6 tomorrow at IVRS. Come get your cheek swabbed. Super easy part of your day. Like I said, somebody could be the match. So can you tell us also just a little bit more about maybe somebody does get the call mm -hmm. to be a marrow donor. What does that process look like? There are two different ways that people could potentially be asked to donate. So one is peripheral blood stem cell donation, and it's like a plasma donation. These are both outpatient procedures, very easy. Um, so it's you have to get injections. They try to keep you close to home as much as possible. Uh, about 80% of the time, that's what it is. Okay. The other way that people could be asked to donate is is whole bone marrow and that is what Sam needs. Okay. People get scared about it but it's a super easy, you're under general anesthesia, um, they make it as easy as possible. All right, so. so that's great. So definitely got to come out to IVRS. This is tomorrow 1 to it's, 6. It's Saturday. Oh, Saturday. 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 Yes. My mistake. Okay, so Saturday. Like, glad we've got <laughs> yes. that corrected. So Saturday 1 to 6, come out mm -hmm. five minutes of your day. You can donate blood. You can get registered for the bone marrow. So can you tell us real quick phone number where people can find you? Yes, 806-322-0747. We'll have all the information you need. All right. Thanks for coming and talking yeah, to us today. Thank you.